Okay, Jack Rose has finally got his first win. And also, we have got our first win ever as a football club. It was not easy, though. We lost our first five games. And then game number seven against Wickham Wanderers, we won 4-2. So now that we've got our first win, we feel like we can push forward. And we've also made some pretty good additions to the team. Players like the Spanish midfielder, Josebed, Aining on loan from Dortmund, Ashley Phillips on loan from Blackburn, and also Luke Kundo, among others. The main one being Fidenau Rodriguez is back, and he's playing for Kensington. So now we look for our first ever league win. And also setting up our scout and youth system. So keep dropping likes if you want this to be a daily series. And we got business to get into. Okay, first comment is saying, I send one of our youth scouts to the Netherlands. Maybe even find the next Van Dyke. Which honestly, our defense could use the next Van Dyke. So that'll be done in this episode. Next one, David Beckham potential sponsor. Yeah, as we know, Matthew Rose, our son, has a relationship with Beckham. They're good friends. So maybe something involving Beckham or maybe Inter Miami could be in our future. Maybe like a club partnership. There's a lot of possibilities there. Last one, Job Bellingham would be a good signing. Yeah, I would like to sign him, but we signed him in the Venezia series over on my other channel, Tyster Plus. And usually I don't like re-signing players have signed before. I mean, maybe down the line, but for now, I think we'll hold off. And also, Venezia series should be back within the next few days over on Tyster Plus, so. So, be on the lookout for that. So, in League 2, five games in, we're still sitting bottom, only one point, and uh, we've conceded 15 goals, by far the most. I feel like we're slowly figuring out how to play this team, but still, defense is a big issue. And uh, Matthew told us that him and Saka were going to invest in, like, a scouting system to help find good players and also, of course, youth players. So, let's meet our new head scout. So, we meet with him in our office, and his name is Michael Green. Now, he's a former Arsenal scout. We, of course, say welcome to the club, and he says happy to be here, and we tell him that we want our youth system to be a big part of Kensington Football Club, and Michael says that's one of his specialties, so he's going to work on hiring youth scouts, finding some elite youth scouts, and he also mentions that our defense has been lacking a lot, so he's going to be on the lookout for any defenders we could sign, any hidden gems. All right, so while that's being set up, we may have got our first win, but we're still in search of our first league win, and next is Leighton Orient, so I think Phillips is overtaking Cruz at that center back spot, and I think uh, Kumalo's got that right wing spot locked down for now. I did push Rodriguez and Kumalo a little bit more forward just so they can connect with Frost it'll be easier. And then when you guys had to put target man on Frost, so we're going to put target man instruction on Sean Frost, which he scored two in the last episode of the final game. So I feel like he's just ready to break out of this slump. So we'll see if he can continue that in this game. But come on, I feel like we figured out the way to play with this team a little bit, just a tiny bit. So it's definitely time for our first league win at home. Yeah, the confidence is growing at Kensington, but still, I am not sure what to expect in every single game. But like Kundal is playing for Parsons due to fitness this game. Okay, Leighton Orient through already. Montoya makes a good save. Now, there was some criticism from Montoya. A lot of people saying we should buy a new keeper. I feel like he hasn't had much defense though. He's kind of been left out to dry a lot. I don't know what that chance was. Like, I still believe Montoya. The man is 6'7". Like, he can be a good keeper. Now, so I believe Rodriguez's name is fixed. Let's see. I believe it is. And yes, it is. Which, speaking of Rodriguez, that's a great ball from uh, Kundal. Into... Oh, Rodriguez. That was not a good pass at all though. Ball in the box. This is our danger spot. Montoya makes a great save right there. Now, this hasn't been a great start from us though. It's been a few chances by them. Okay, Ramos off the line. And Montoya's gonna grab that. They've now had three chances where they could have scored. Okay, Kamalo, that is a great ball too. Fair now, Rodriguez. And Fair now is running forward. Running forward, didn't shoot. Oh, man, that was blocked. Just the timing there was perfect for them. All right, 30 minutes in, they've had more chances, but so far, I mean, it's not bad. Considering how many games we lost 5-0, this would be uh, decent so far. Now, that's a ball in the box, though. That's going to be a good shot. Montoya has made three saves now, keeping us in this game. I mean, responding to criticism right there. Don't like this start still. They have all the momentum. That's a shot, Montoya. That's an easy one for him. We are just not doing a good job of keeping uh, him defensively sound. Okay, Montoya has now made four saves. I thought that was a for sure goal right there, but like they look like they're going to score. Like, they're, they're just waiting for the final moment, Phillips, great tackle, saves us. Goes to bed, out to Ramos. Now Ramos has got Ketso Kamalo. Ketso Kamalo in. This should be a goal, and Kamalo, it's going to be a good save instead. Okay, good move, though. Decent attempt. Goes to bed, cross in. That one looks decent, but it's going to be cleared. Back out to Goes to bed. Actually, Goes to bed. In, two. Sean Frost shoots. Keeper, another good save, though. Come on, this would be a perfect time to score. Kamalo gets to it, and Ketso Kamalo scores again. He is having a good start to the season, and just like that, it's 1-0. I called for it, and it happened. I would say probably against run of play, but great corner by Josebed. Kamalo, he's not even that tall. He's the South African Lionel Messi, so he's not that tall at all. But uh, in the box, he fights for it, and it's a, it's a great header, and that should be a lead at halftime now. Not sure we deserve it, but we'll take it. All right, 1-0, 45 more minutes. Are we going to get our first league win? I feel like they're going to score, so I feel like one goal is not going to be enough to win this game. They got a free kick that is interesting, should be cleared, and it is not. But Ramos gets it. That makes me so nervous. And now that's a good chance of him to shoot Montoya. That's like save number five, I think. I mean, they're bound to just fall in the net one of these shots. Like, we gotta stop this. But honestly, I'm not sure we can. What is this passing I'm seeing from them? I am not sure. Frost doing some defensive work. I like it. All right, corner. Or late in Orient. That one's dangerous. Ferreira climbs, though. They are putting so much pressure on us. Ferreira, great block, though. Come on, we gotta score the second. Goes to bed. Through to Ketso Kamalo, who's onside. Does he have support, though? He might not need it. Kamalo. Frost it into Frost. Frost gets the header attempt. Oh, that could have been 2-0. That was great work, though. Come on, get the second goal. Josebed. 
Another good cross. That one looks good. All falls. Kundal shoots, and it's going to be blocked. That was a great chance. We are looking dangerous from corners. We got Sean Frost. You should be dangerous. I don't know what the header was. Rebound header. It's going to go right to the keeper. And I just feel like one goal is not going to win this. We got to score the second because they are bound to score eventually. Montoya save number six. Okay, let's do Parsons for uh, Kundal. Let's do Paris for uh, Frost and then move Rodriguez up top because Frost is rinsed. And then uh, we got to do Bryant for Ramos as well. So 20 minutes, desperately defending a one goal lead now. Leonori, get it into the box in a very dangerous spot. Aining, aining. Can't get around that guy. Montoya shot is right at him though. Oh, please tell me he's offside. Is he onside? Oh, he's onside and they've tied it up. I knew it was coming. Man, we lost the ball in the midfield and then they just went straight into attack. We lost the ball right there and then they just, I guess, people are out of position and that guy is somehow free. We just can't lose the ball in a spot like that and they've been so good this game, so they probably deserve a goal. We got 15 minutes now. Okay, Aining, that is a great steal. Can this lead to an attack now? Aining, great ball to Rodriguez. Over two. Oh, it goes to Parsons, I think, and that was like the slowest pass of all time. Oh, man, they're going for this winner. I can feel it. They're going for it. That's going to be a good pass. Good pass. Good tackle, though. And we can't get the ball out, but we do eventually. Rodriguez up to Samuel Paris. Samuel Paris gets onto it. Samuel Paris could win us the game. And it goes just wide. That was the chance. I maybe could have played it to the guy in the middle. Oh, man. That was a chance for like an 89th minute winner. I can't believe it. Oh, man. Is that going to be it? They might get the final chance. They might. I need that to be a good tackle. It is, but it's going to be a foul. Oh, no. They have a chance to win the game. They are going to send that free kick in. It's over that, but I think that's going to be it. Oh, we had a chance to win the game at the end. We should have won our first league game, but okay. As heartbreaking as that is, we're still showing signs of improvement. We get a draw. Honestly, they played really good, so we got a draw. It's not a terrible result. Oh, man. Paris had a chance to win it at the very end. Okay, it's time for our first ever sim game. Facing Newport County. First ever sim game is going to be our first league win with Tommy Parsons scoring the winner. All right, so first league win on our belt. That's nice. And next Next one is going to be a 1-1 one -one draw. Samuel Paris has score in the 64th minute, though. So, hey, look at that. No longer bottom of the table. We're now in 23rd. Isn't that so nice? I mean, if we want any hopes of promotion this season, we are now what? We're seven points off the playoff spots. That's not terrible. Now, our next game is Carlisle away. But before the game, we want to sit down with Samuel Paris. Give him a little talk. So, on the training ground, we talk with him. And we tell him we know you haven't had the greatest start to the season. But we believe in him. The team believes in him. And we tell him he's still a key player for the team in the future. And then Paris says, you know, it hasn't been my best start. And he says that he's thinking too much in the field. That he's not playing freely like himself. Himself. So he says he'll try and work on that. But next game is an away day at Carlisle United. All right, Kensington Football Club is no longer bottom of the table. We are now second bottom. Let's stay that way. I feel like despite the results, we're starting to see the slow improvement of this team. Oh, that's so unfortunate, though. How unfortunate is that? I can't even blame anyone. That, that's just like the unlucky part of football. Like, what are we supposed to do there? We're trying to make a tackle and then it bounces. We have no chance to react, and then I guess it's just heads up play from the guy that stole it in the final uh, before it got to one of their players. All right, 12 minutes in, Carlisle United up 1 0. Malo, great pass to Parsons. Parsons gets it, Sean Frost. Now, Frost, I need you in a better spot. That is a little bit better of a spot. Oh man, that was almost a chance to shoot. All right, Sean Frost up to Rodriguez. He is on side, I believe. Rodriguez, that's inside. The next Ronaldo, look on the next Ronaldo. And then Sean Frost shoots. It's going to be a good save by the keeper. That was a good shot. It's just a better save by the keeper. Frost gets it over to Parsons. Parsons. Parsons going to get it to Frost. That was a little bit opening there. And then what just happened in the box? Rodrigo Ramos. Good ball to Ketso Kamalo. Kamalo cuts inside. I like that. Can you play to Frost? Not quite. Okay. Parsons. Great steal. Now, can we get something from this? Rodriguez driving forward. It goes over to Frost. Frost. Chance to shoot. He's just closed down so quickly. I'm seeing things to be proud of, though. Tommy Parsons. Chance to shoot from Parsons. Parsons hits the crossbar. And then Frost rebound. Oh, it's going to go over the net. Man, Tommy Parsons, that was a great shot. Oh, Frost has the lady open it. I think that defender might have got something on that. Parsons to Rodriguez. Rodriguez looking for Frost. Instead, Rodriguez goes all the way. He's going to shoot. And that's going to be a corner. Corner sent in. I feel good from corners. Sean Frost. Good header attempt. There's an open net, and he just got taken out. That's not a penalty. As he was trying to shoot, he got taken out. Gunnarsson, okay, you're not shooting that. Oh, man, that was questionable to say the least. What a ball to Kamalo, though. Kamalo, he's onside. Okay, Kamalo might be the star of this team to start the series. This game is one when we fight back into it. Now, I'm surprised. We, that's a great pass by Gunnarsson. He picked that one out. Kamalo was free. Kamalo right now is the one scoring, and this game is 1-1. All right, halftime, you know, to be 1-1, I'm happy with that. The team showed some spirit right there, and that spirit turned into a road win. That would be insane. Now, that's a good ball over the top. Rodrigo Ramos can't get to that. That is. Uh, is that a penalty? No, Montoya, great save. That one looked a little bit scary. Ball to the top of the box. Now, we got a lot of options here to defend. And when the ball is like this, I don't like it. But Phillips, great tackle. Goes a bit out to Ramos. We got space here. Ramos. Ramos, that first touch was so bad, though. Oh, no. If we score off, if they score off this, that bad touch is going to cause it. Gunnarsson, 
Decent tackle though, but this is a good spot for them. A very good spot. Gets to the middle. Montoya saves it. Hey, Montoya, he's having a good episode. I would say that. It's a, it's a bounce back episode, but honestly, they look like bouncing back because they might score here, which Ferreira, good tackle. That is sent in. Aining, good clearance, but once again, the pressure is just so immense on us right now. And then Josebed makes another good tackle. Malo gets it to Frost, get it over to Parsons. Parsons to Rodriguez, get it over to Aining. Back to Rodriguez. Rodriguez gets over to Parsons. In to Josebed shot. Okay, we hit the crossbar again. Two times in one game. Bro, how unlucky can we get right now? Okay, ball. This looks good. Oh, it looked good. We just ruined it, though. Okay, we need subs, but this ball is knocking out in a minute. Crossed through to Rodriguez. Rodriguez stays with it. Rodriguez twists and turns, tries to get it to an open teammate. Josebed wins it back, and then he's fouled. Whoa, what is happening here? Okay, we could have got that uh, loose ball. Crossed to Rodrigo Ramos. Rodrigo Ramos, we got Kamalo. We find Kamalo. Cross in. Kamalo can't get to that. Header one, though. Parsons over to Rodriguez. Shot is going to be blocked. Bro, this ball is not gone out. It's like the 62nd minute. Parsons in to Sean Frost. Get a shot. Gets a shot away, but there's so many people around him. Oh, man. Okay, they get the final chance. Is either going to be a loss or another draw, which I'll take a draw away. Wanted the win. Should have got the win. They, their one goal was so lucky. But you know what? I'll take a draw. Probably not the right thing to say before a corner, though. Now I'm scared. Corner sent in. Please just clear it. Rodriguez clears it. That should be it. And the ref blows the whistle. Man, another game we should have won. We had chances to win. Hit the crossbar twice. That is just so unlucky. And the way we conceded it was unlucky too. But hey, we have not lost the episode so far. So that's improvement. There's a lot of positives still to take. Okay, next game is Gillingham. This one is going to be 2-1. Okay, Rodriguez scores and Ferreira scores. That is the first home win. And then Bradford City is going to be a 1-1 draw with Paris scoring. All right, so now we sit in 19th place. Slowly climbing the table. I love to see it. Now we're eight points off seven, the uh, playoffs spot so we are on the up and up and right now our head scout michael green wants to talk to us so we get into the office and michael green says he's been doing some scouting and he's found a player that we might be interested in and he says he was just released from his club and he says when you see him you're gonna say he's not good but michael says trust me i'm an elite scout i know what to look for and he says this kid might not look like it but he's got some potential he could be a hidden gem so that player is david eugene bua i feel like i butchered that name but he's a 21 year old italian right back who's six foot and he's he's decently quick he's got some pace but then also he's got a lot of things to work on and i mean a lot but he is a free agent and we do need a right back in this team right now at least another one only have one in slater it's more like an investment in the future that if bua can become a good player signing him right now might be worth it so we're gonna try to and hey if michael green says he's a hidden gem maybe that it might not look like it right now we're gonna listen he's an elite scout so for your contract you want to sign up for a long time i'm cool with that now his wage should be very very low being only 54 rated so i'm gonna try 1.5 see what uh boo am i saying the right boo i don't even know but okay he accepts 1.5 thousand per week you know what that's nothing for us. Okay, I mean, it's kind of something, but you know what I mean? It's pretty cheap. 21 years old, could grow. Michael Green believes in him, so we're gonna we're gonna repay that faith and just see what happens. So, but well, welcome to Kensington. We're gonna see if he is a hidden gem. And you know what? We're gonna see in literally the next game. So I think I'm gonna play Rodriguez at striker this game, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put uh Paris left wing starting. Let's get Bill right back. So a debut for him. And then let's do Santos for Kamal. Let's rotate a little bit. So we'll go with that right there. So was Michael Green right or is he wrong about Bua? We we're gonna see in this game a little bit. So debut for the 21 year old Italian right back. Like I said, there's been a lot of improvement lately, but still the results have not really got there. This is a decent looking chance, but Joe's about who's been so solid. That's a great tackle. Santos to Boa. Now, I'm not sure how good he is going forward. We're going to see. Now, defensively, now he does have some pace. Can he? Okay, that's a great tackle, though. Boa, good tackle. Unfortunate that it falls back to him, but you know what? That was solid defending. Rodriguez, long ball. Now, Santos. Can he get onto that? Santos, he's fighting for it. He's fighting. Can't quite get it. Aining to Rodriguez. Rodriguez, that's a good tackle. Man, he got, he got laid out, actually. Oh, man, they're in behind. Okay, we need to catch up as much as we can, which I think we have, but not enough, and Montoya can't save it. I didn't think he was going to shoot that far. I thought he was going to try to get a better angle, but he just shot. All you can do is tip your hat to that. Like, I really thought we closed and done enough, but, like, that's just a great shot. Okay, down 1-0. What else is new? All right, Bua plays it to Josebed. Josebed is going to try to get it to Bua. You know, Bua. Bua, is that how you say your name? I'm not sure, but left-footed cross what do you got that's a solid cross and it's gonna go back to the keeper you know what so far for his rating actually looks decent okay santos just got clipped there and that will, should be a yellow wait that's a red oh that's a red okay we have a chance to get in this game now back in this game that's a red card down to 10 men we have a chance to get back in this game paris oh man i didn't see that defender there really i didn't think he would get there now unfortunately in fifa being down to 10 men usually doesn't even actually mean much i'm hoping today that proves differently, but oh, that dude is just so much quicker than everyone else. And they just hold the ball in our box and sit there, and it's just so infuriating because we like feel like we can't do anything about it. All right, Bua, that's a good pass. Now, this could be a decent attack. Parsons tries to get it to 
Samuel Paris and Samuel Paris has scored. Okay, it seems like right for halftime, we always tie the game up. And Paris, you know, he's playing a little more free. Our talk must have helped. This pass here from Parsons, that is a beautiful pass, though. And then the shot, I mean, he gets something on it, but it's not enough. Good to see Paris score, though. Also, good to see this game is uh, now 1 1. All right, second half begins 1 1. Now, at home, they're down to 10 men. Honestly, we should win this game, but it's just asking a lot of us with our current state. I do know we can, though, if we just execute rightly. Okay, our new free agent, maybe hidden gem boa, doing some defensive work now. Something he has that really no one else quite has that well is a little bit of pace. Good cross, though, and it's good to uh, get defended. Gaining a bit of ball to Paris, but he's got no support, though. Now, Parsons. Oh, what a ball to Santos. Parsons has played now two great passes, and that... Oh, that might go in still. Oh, it's not going to go in. at the rebound. I didn't know that was going to hit the that spot. And then Rodriguez gets it back to Paris. Rodriguez turns, shots. Oh, I just could not find an angle there. And Parsons, that was a great pass. Should have scored that. So unlucky for Santos. Goes out to the new free agent signing. Now, can he get a crossover to Rodriguez? It's not a bad idea. Rebound gets it to Parsons. Oh, there's so many chances to get something. Cross in. Paris header. And it's all for the net. We are such a sloppy team. Oh, no. You got to be kidding me. What is all this space? What is all that space randomly in our defensive line? There's no way we should be on 2-1 to a team that's down to 10 minutes, especially when we're playing this good. Like, my defense. Where's everyone at? Where's the middle center back? Herrera is, like, off on a trip somewhere else, a side quest. Oh, it's just so frustrating. We got 20 minutes now. We should be 2-1 up, but instead we're 2-1 down. Okay, we got, like, no options here. Josebed. Going to wait for Boa to make a run. Boa got a chance to whip that in. Cross from Boa actually looks good. No one gets to it. Rebound. No one can get a shot away, though. Now, they might literally make this 3-3-1. Three, three, what a shot, but thankfully over the net. Okay, we're going to do... Let's do Kundal. Let's do Kumalo for Santos. Rodriguez to the left. Sean Frost up top. We got to do that. Goes to bed. Up to Kenzo Kumalo. We got fresh legs on Kumalo. We get a pass to Frost. Oh, man, I won. Let's go backwards. I'm actually two Frost. There's one, though. Back to Frost. Frost. Okay, we tried something there and it did not work, bro. We got absolutely no time. But we might have one more chance. We get the ball forward. Frost gets it to Kundal. Kundal to Rodriguez. That pass was there, but we can't find it. Wait. Oh, that was a bad giveaway, but the ref blows the whistle. Oh, we've just been so unfortunate to start this series. Like, incredibly unfortunate. We're a bad team that's playing, like, a little bit above our level, I think. But we're not getting the results. It's going to be another home loss. Still, though, Boa played actually really good. For being 21 years old, only 54 rated, he actually might be a hidden gem. Like, he could turn into a very solid, like, role player for the team. All right, next game is going to be a 2-1 win away from home to Barrow. Uh, Josephette and Frost score. And the next game, rotated team against uh, Sutton United. That's going to be a 2-1 win, even with the rotated team. Samuel Perry scores twice. Okay, he looks like he's figuring things out, which is good to see. And he actually becomes the top scorer of the club, two more than Kamalo and Frost. So, uh, the next Terry Henry, he's starting to figure it out. And we've climbed a little bit up to 15th now. So, still six points off uh, a playoff spot. So, hey, we're there. We're climbing a little bit, slowly and slowly. Now, Michael Green is working on some youth scouts, hiring some. But next game is gonna be against Walsall. I wanna give, uh, Boo another chance to play. Is it Boo or Boa? I have no clue. It might be Boa. That might make more sense. But, uh, let's do that. And I think, I wanna play Paris, but it's hard to fit him, because Kamalo's playing good, Frost playing good. I think I'll play him over Kamalo this game and we go with that lineup against Walsall so come on played games the episode so far we got a draw we draw on a loss so in played games we still have got a first played win in the league even though I feel like we're playing so much better lately that is a through ball which I don't like to see it's gonna pass all the way back out though all back in the middle we just let them in way too easily like, okay, we got two players surrounding this guy, Matt, who scored. Like, I just don't get it. They're they're surrounding him, but I guess, I don't know if it's like Ferreira not marking him close enough, leaving Gunnarsson alone. I have no idea, but we're down 1-0 again. I'm not even surprised at this point. Frost up to Rodriguez. For now, Rodriguez. Great. Oh, what a finish by Rodriguez. Okay, that was that was not a League 2 finish. That was looking like classic Rodriguez from Wolves. All of a sudden, I feel better. It's just the ball over the top. Uh, Rodriguez has a good chest down. And then left foot on the volley or half volley. That is, uh, that's classic Rodriguez right there. That thing has some, like, venom to it, too. All right, 1-1. One, one. Good response after conceding a not good goal. Man, the defense feels scattered in this one. I don't know why, but, like, three center backs, they feel like they're not on the same page despite playing with each other. The most often at anyone, really. Gunnarsson, please close. Gunnarsson. That is what I need to see. Beautiful. Rodriguez gets it over Aining. Aining into Frost. Frost. Can he win that? Not quite. And Aining at left back. Our Loney from Dortmund too. He's been so good. Sad thing is we don't have a buy clause on him so there's no chance we can sign him after the after the loan move. Dortmund uh, know that he's pretty good. They don't want a buy option there which makes a lot of sense. And that is dangerous. Ashley Phillips who does has a loan to buy option. Good tackle though. Oh Rodriguez crunch. Is that going to be yellow? It's going to be a yellow card. Alright now what do we do here? I never know what to do from these. I'm going to try to pass it which we can get it to for all oh, Ferreira. I didn't know it was Ferreira. That's 
that's such a bad touch. I thought it was someone that had a better touch than that. Man, it just feels like every time they come forward, they're going to find someone to score. That's how it feels. Thankfully, he's offside, though. Ball down the middle. Good chance to shoot. And oh, man, that I think Phillips got something on that. And then it made it tough. Montoya still made the save, though. Corner sent in. That is going to be cleared by inning. Good clearance. Please get this ball out. I am incredibly stressed out when the ball is in this spot because we just can't win it. Paris, though, when I say that we actually do win it, it's funny. It's like the jinx. All right, Parsons. Parsons crossed to Paris. Now Parsons has some good passing. That one wasn't his best. All right, this again. We got runners here. Ball into Sean Frost. He is taken out, but how is it not a foul right there? You're telling me that's not a foul when he was just taken out before we could even get to that? All right, halftime once again is 1-1, though. Ball down the middle. Gunnarsson. Now he's got, like, no pace. That's a long shot. Montoya should be an easy save, and it is. Rodriguez, great turn. Okay, Rodriguez. Oh, he actually gets to him. Oh, Aining keeps it in. The work there is insane. Aining up to Rodriguez. Chance to get something from this. It's going to be... Parsons, shot, frost, rebound. It's going to be blocked. Bro, in League 2, they just pile into the box and just block shots all the time. Don't like this attack. Don't like it. But Ferreira, okay, that's risky. Thankfully, we don't get burned from that. Paris to the hidden gem. Bua. Bua gets it back out to Rodriguez. In to Parsons. We got Frost, Parsons. Chance to shoot instead. That's a decent shot, actually, but right the keeper. All right, Bua, hidden gem. Let's see the defending. Bua. Okay, doesn't get a chance to. Wait, yes, he does. He doesn't get a chance to. I want to see that defensive work. You know what? That was not the greatest close down, but it wasn't bad. Oh, that's going to be a foul in a bad spot. Oh, this is a very bad spot. Please don't tell me he scores from here. Please don't tell me he's going to score from there. We can't foul him in a bad spot like that. It gives him such a good chance to score. Bro, like the margin for error for us right now is so small. We make one mistake and we lose. It's that simple. One small mistake and that could cost us the entire game right there. 20 minutes and once again, like last game, we're down 2-1 now. I think it was Joe's better. One of the midfielders to get that foul. Which I don't blame them. They're trying to be aggressive, but still. Okay, Boo has got a lot of time in the box. John Frost is being hounded. The strength though from the big man and it's going to be a corner in the end. Frost in by... Joe is a bed. Sean Frost can't get to it. Come on, boys. Rodriguez, find the right pass. Okay, there's look at the numbers in the box, though. Goes to Paris. Good shot. It's a good save, though. Come on, I'm feeling good about this corner. I'm feeling good about it. Sean Frost is there. Not going to reach it, though. Can we head it? Yes, we can. Phillips gets it back to Paris. Paris, left-footed shot. That one looked good, but it's blocked. Rebound is not going to be one, though. Sean Frost. Through ball to fair than now. Rodriguez, he's in. Rodriguez chance to tie it up and Rodriguez has tied the game up 85th minute we finally score like a late game goal and of course it's got to be Rodriguez oh man we needed that one John Frost with a good pass John Frost is getting a lot of assists for being a 6-4 striker but Rodriguez he had to keep his composure there and it's uh it's a light finish all right Kamalo for Samuel Paris and then I think we leave it at that hey there's still five minutes can we pull off something uh special here now being the away team I also don't want to concede a late winner though because that'd be very bad all right, Boa, where's the defending? Okay, look at the hidden gem signing Boa's defensive work. And now Sean Frost, I don't know what kind of passing we got. You know what, Sean Frost, not a bad pass. Oh, we could have won that and played it to Kamalo. Okay, we just got to defend this last chance for them. And it will mean a hard fought for point. I don't know why he'd go backwards with it, but okay, I'll take that. So still no win, but we do get a draw. We fought back. This has been such a slow start, but once again, our hardest crew whatever, and it's proven to be that. I'm seeing a lot of signs of improvement though. So we drop a little bit down to 17th. But hey, at least it's not bottom of the league anymore. We're now what? We're 10 points off bottom. So slow and steady improvements. Very slow and steady. But I think Michael Green was right about Bua. He seems like a very solid pickup as a free agent. So next episode, we get into November. We got the FA Cup coming up too. So it'll be Kensington's debut in the FA Cup. And right now, Michael Green wants to have a little chat again. So back in the office, Michael Green says that he's found some scouts for us. That he's hired us a scouting network. And he says, while we might not have a big budget, we now have an elite youth scouting system. We got Tobias from Denver. Mark, we got Jose Teixeira from Portugal and then Michael from Poland. So we're going to send Tobias, we're going to send him to England. We're going to have some homegrown talent. And then I'm going to send Teixeira to Algeria in Africa because I saw that in the comments. And then Michael's going to the Netherlands, like we said earlier. So for the first time, our youth scouts are being sent out, some elite scouts. We're going to find out what they find in, of course, the next episode. So if you enjoyed, drop a like down below, especially if you want this to be a daily series on the channel. And as always, hope you have a great day.